All right, I'm going to try this again. My uh, last recording had hardly any audio. So here we go. I'm going to do a brief uh, run through of my base to show how I'm generating power with slime, these slime gens. Uh, they generate 360 RF per tick with no speed upgrades. With a full stack of 20 speed upgrades, you get like 7,500 RF per tick, which is really good, and you can do that really early game. Um, I run my base off only slime gens, or primarily slime gens. I do have down here, I did this yesterday, these are biogas engines that are running off this biogas that I create with plant balls, which I create from purple slime saplings. Um, I have a ton of those. I generate them pretty quick. I've got 13,000, almost 14,000 of them. Um, but that's just kind of a byproduct of generating this slime block up here. Um, I can put these up. Anyway, um, so what I did was I have this dimension that takes 75,000 RF per tick to run. Uh, it's got uh, lakes of uranium, liquid uranium. And so I was not <laughs> really able to keep up with it with the few. I had probably nine of these slime generators. I've since added a few more. Um, so I would run those nine slime gens and this reactor that I made. Uh, it's pretty much a copy of. Mm -hmm, nope. It's a copy of the one from Two Asgard's channel, except for without all the manualing, because I didn't have that. Um, it's going to see if I can show you these control rods are set at zero so all the way up and it generates close to 30,000 RF per tick which you can see up here I'm using about 3,000 uh, on random stuff in the base so that was doing okay but that's I mean 30 <laughs> 30,000 RF is just a few slime gins. So what I did was I ramped up production of that. Um, and so now if I flip this on, you can see from the slime gins, I get 120, probably around 125,000 RF per tick. Um, that That's good enough to do pretty much everything I'm doing now. I mean, I made the Draconic Armor. I had no problem keeping all this running. It ran pretty quick. Um, <coughs> I keep this capacitor full, and the cool thing about using the slime gins versus the uh, the uh, rea the reactor in there is that they just shut off. They shut off when this is full automatically. I mean, I know you can send redstone signal and have things turn off and on, but these just don't have anywhere to put the power, so they stop using slime. Um, they run through it pretty quick, but I. I make a surplus of them. So you'll see it go down when I've used a ton of slime. You know, I've used a ton of power. You'll see it go down. Um, I'll leave that run in and feed myself. And I'll go show you the slime farm. Do a little emerald farm. Okay, so here's the slime farm. I started with just these first two. Um, and that ran me great. I, then I eventually upgraded them to double and then octatic capacitors uh, at the beginning of the game. Then I added two more and added two more. And I've since, um, just to kind of ramp things up to a stupid level, I've made four more um, down here underground. And then down here, I've got it all quarried out so I can make all the way down to bedrock. Um, so, well, let me go back out there. I used to have everything processing here. Right now, all that's happening is this generates, I have 10 speed upgrades in here. This generator just runs the farms, so I don't, I don't lose any of my base grid power to that. I used to store everything here and move everything through these, uh, 
inner chests. But now I have everything going in to this white, 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 which is my input channel, and then process down in the base. Um, I think I'm going to be lagging too much to actually use this. So, no, there we go. Um, I've got the processing to do down here. This just takes the purple slime balls and makes blocks out of it. This takes the um, congealed slime and makes slime balls and then makes blocks out of that. You see them come in pretty quick. So that's pretty much everything from that. So I've got, I use the saplings, I use the purple slime, I use that. I've even got, um, from where part of it is just oak trees. It generates saplings here, and I, I burn those in a bioreactor along with purple slime saplings. I even burn the apples in the uh, culinary generator. So I make RF from every part of that. Um, of that. These are bioreactors. This is what I was doing with purple slime saplings because I didn't know anything else I could do with it. But it makes R four uh, RF per tick. I mean, I have a ton of them. But I mean, I think total it's 64 RF per tick. So I was, I was very happy. This thing makes uh, 450, 500 RF per tick. Um, and with nothing running, this will, uh, let me turn this off back here. With nothing running, that'll run my base fine off just the saplings. And it gets rid of the saplings. Um, let's see. These don't need to run anymore, so they just stop. There's no... I mean, I have it hooked up to this switch, but there's no... Uh, the, the capacitor doesn't control them at all. It's just they don't really have anywhere to put the RF, so they just stop running. And so I stay right at, right at the 475. <coughs> uh, just from whatever, you know, the things that take 10 RF per tick or 100 RF per tick here and there comes up to about the 500 RF for me and so, and that's, I'm running this magma crucible am I running? No, I'm not what's that run? oh, whatever um, I usually run this magma crucible to fill up that for random things that need lava um, that's where I collect XP so I I do plan on building out the reactor um, here's my GP room I do plan on building out the reactor I'll show you that dimension because it's kind of crazy Let's see 75,000 RF per tick um, What I think I'm going to do is see, I have this pump here and it's straining into this inner chest. It's only currently working when I'm here, <coughs> which at 75,000 RF per tick is fine. Um, but what I think I'm going to do is use the builder to drain all this liquid. I didn't know you could do that till today, someone told me. So, I'll just drain as much liquid as I can, fill up a gargantuan drum, take that back home, and uh, kind of turn this dimension off. Um, it's a neat dimension. I, I, I may just be terrible at making dimensions. Uh, but, that is what I've got. Seems to work out pretty well for me. It scales really well. Um, you know, you wouldn't have to go stupid with it. By the time you get up to needing uh, tree farms as big as I have, you would probably be moved on to some other kind of really nice reactor. But uh, there it is. The whole base run off just the slime gens. 
Thanks.